welcome back to another video. If you guys are new here, hello and welcome. I am so excited to have you guys here today. I have a very special guest with me, my sister in Christ, Mariam. I'm so happy to have you here. You guys, I'm so happy to have her here today. She is going to be sharing her testimony with us. You guys know how I love a good testimony. I love hearing what the Lord is doing in people's life, especially people in the Muslim community. And I'm just so excited for you guys to hear the story today. Um, Mariam, are you excited to be here? I'm very excited to be here. Welcome to the channel. We are, we love a good testimony. Yes, Everybody do. here, literally all 20,000 of us, we love a good testimony. Yes, we love to hear yes. what people say about how their life was transformed. And I'm so mm -hmm. excited to hear your story today. And I'm not even hyping it up, guys. I'm for real, for real. This is like one of the best testimonies I've ever heard. Jesus did that. Jesus did it all and he did... Uh, Man, yeah, all glory yeah. to God. He did so good. Yes. I don't even know where to start because we've, you've been here with me for two weeks. So yeah. we have just been getting to know each other. Um, and I'm sad that you're leaving me. I know. You're literally leaving me. It's Price. so sad. I know. <laughs> it um, is really sad. It is really sad. But we are going to look back at this video in like a year, even six months from oh now. Gosh. And We're like, I have no idea people. what the Lord has in store for this. Yeah. So I'm really excited about that. So let's get started. Let's start from the very beginning. So you grew up in a Muslim household. Tell us how you found the good Lord. Oh, well, um, well it's a long story. It is a long story. We're going to try to do this in an hour or so. Yes. Hopefully, hopefully we do stay till the end. I know. <laughs> but um, so, you know, we have a similar story. I uh, grew up in Kenya first mm -hmm. few years of my life. Um, we, my family came to America. We were Muslim. Yep. Um, I'm no longer Muslim. That's why I'm here. Yep. Um, um, you know, we came to America mm -hmm. 2005. I grew up pretty much most of my life in America, so... Um, you know, growing up as a Muslim in America was like really hard. Yeah. Um, battling my identity. Yeah. Every single day. Mm -hmm. Um, and it didn't help that, you know, there's not really a good reputation in America for yeah. Muslims. Yeah. And so, you know, I was always like conflicted in how I felt about my, f my faith, yeah. which really was my parents' faith. And yeah. You know, culturally, it was the faith of our people as mm -hmm. Somalis. Mm -hmm. And, um, yeah, so I just grew up Muslim, you know, doing the five daily prayers, yeah. going to Duxi, which is um, Saturday, Sunday school. You go and mm -hmm. read the Quran and, memorize. you know, come together with the community kids and you memorize and you learn about, you know, hadiths and Muslim topics. Yeah. Pretty yeah. much. Um, so, you know, did that growing up. I really wasn't critically thinking about any of it. I was just kind of like, oh, I'm Muslim. My parents are Muslim. Okay. Like, yeah, this is what we this do. This is what we do, you mm -hmm. know? And I'm not going to sit here and say that, like, I was miserable all the time. No, like, the less I thought about what I was forced to believe in, yeah, the less miserable I was. And yeah. it wasn't until my late teens, like 18, 19, when I started to seek out the truth for myself that I realized the reality of everything that, mm -hmm. you know, I was pretty much forced to believe my whole life. Um, and, you know, it's not to say that someone, you know, had a knife to my neck, but yeah. it, it felt as if it was forced because growing up it was like, well, if you ever step out, it's like, you're pretty much disowned. Like nobody yeah, 100%. claims you anymore. It's like, oh, you're not Somali anymore. Like mm -hmm. you can't be not Muslim and Somali. Yeah, you know. And yeah. I think that's very toxic. Mm -hmm. Um, not to use that overused word. Yeah. <laughs> but I think that a lot of young Somali kids are struggling with their identity, and it's because they are being like s rejected for yeah. who they are. are. You know. Mm -hmm. And so. It was always you can't be this and that. You need to pick one or mm -hmm. you need to be this. And if you're that, then you're no good, you know? Yeah. And even if you were what they wanted you to be, it was like you were never good enough. No. And so I struggled a lot with wanting to fit in mm -hmm. and, you know, wanting to feel like I was accepted for being this, like, perfect Muslim woman. And, yeah. you know, it was really tough. And it's really mm -hmm. sad because when you say you wanted to fit in, yeah. um, you know, 
I felt that same way, but it wasn't even like I'm trying to fit in with kids at school. It's like I'm trying to fit in my own family. Yeah. Like I felt like an outcast in my own family. I felt like I was trying to win my God's approval and my parents' approval. Yes. Um, to be this perfect Muslim yeah. kid who, yeah. you know, does their five prayers on time. And mind you, we're children. Like yeah. you're like nine years old. You're not going to remember to pray at 12 and then yeah. go pray at like 4 p.m. and then pray before you go to bed. Mm-hmm. And it's not even quick like a prayer like, oh, God, thank you for, you know, the mm-hmm. day. And it's like, like a full yeah, it's on not ritual. a conversation with God. It's, you know, it's you got to go do the wudu. You got to mm-hmm. go wash your hands and your face and all of that. If you're not familiar with Islamic prayers, yeah. it takes a lot to like. I mean, I wouldn't say a lot, but it, it is more. It's, yeah, it's it's definitely it's, like a ritual, and you're preparing a, yeah. for that ritual exactly. essentially. Exactly, like you have you to know? go and you know face yeah. the Kaaba, and mm-hmm. you gotta you have to find which you, direction yes, that is, exactly. and you have to make sure you have the salah. Yeah. You know, yes, you know, it's salah. it's a whole thing. It's yes. like a whole thing. And like you have to pray in Arabic, which growing up just never made any sense to me because I'm not Arab. Yeah, my family's not Arab. We don't speak Arabic. No, we the don't Quran understand is it. in Arabic, and mm-hmm. you have to pray to god in arabic yeah and they say oh you know god understands you and you can make dua in your language or whatever but it's like why do you have to go and face the kaaba and and, you know prepare to go stand and speak in arabic and you have to say this 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 and that and you know i did it growing up and you know like i didn't really think too much of it but eventually when i started to really think and you know they say like once you reach a certain age, it's like all your good and bad deeds are written down. And yeah. if you miss a prayer, it's like you might as well, like, go to H-E-L-L. I know. It's like but it's like hell is, like, constantly, yeah. like, held over your head. Yes, exactly. It's like you literally live in a state of fear 24-7. 24-7. And like, it's like, it was so, like, it just tormented me a lot. And it is. And I just never felt like I was good enough for God. And yeah. I was I mean, I wasn't good I enough wasn't. for Allah, you know? No. And it was very hard um just like feeling like i didn't have a connection with god and i always yearned for that yeah. even as a kid even when i wasn't fully aware of you know god yeah like i yearned for that because yeah, i wanted same. to feel like there's a bigger purpose for same. me on this earth i don't mm-hmm. want to feel like i'm just working day in day out mm-hmm. not as a kid but like you know yeah, like, like day spiritually, in, yeah, spiritually. Yeah, you're working day in day out yeah. to try and earn heaven and yeah it's like you're just never good enough. And no. I, I knew deep down, I was like, this isn't right. Your God should not want you to, you know, work yeah, tirelessly it, to then die and not know where you're please, going. Yeah. yeah. And that's, the uh, yeah, no, I totally agree. And I think that that's something that I also felt like I was like from a very young age, like I didn't really know why I felt that way, but I knew like I had this longing and this, like my soul longed for, god like i was like there was something it almost is like i don't know how to describe it but there was like i know that there was something more and i didn't know what that more was but i knew the life that i was living and 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 the way that people were acting around me was off yeah like from a very young age i'm like why are my parents like this like Like, why are they always angry like Like, why are we always fighting why are we always yelling at each other why are we always like why is it such a chaos like Mm -hmm. it's like constant chaos like there was no peace Right, right like no peace like no peace and I, I just couldn't understand I think why. I think everybody just had an internal battle going on because it's yeah. like pretty much each man for themselves. It's yeah. like your parents, even when you're really young, they teach you like how to pray and yeah. all of that. And then you, it's up to you to do it. But, mm-hmm. you know, they say, oh, the younger you are and the, you know, earlier you follow Allah, like the deeds go to your parents. And it's very like self-serving in my opinion Mm -hmm. and it's very like not conducive to you know a relationship with god to where i feel like i think that was what i was longing for the whole time and i just couldn't find that and eventually it led to me leaving islam of course but i think you know if you are a muslim and you have these thoughts and you're told like you can't question these things like don't even go there like you know it's like but why you know and i don't know i just always struggled with feeling like i wasn't allowed to question things because 
either people didn't have the answer for me or they knew I would end up leaving Islam. And that's the other thing. Mm -hmm. I feel like they always try to keep you from figuring out the answer because they didn't want you to leave. Like, yeah. And I think for me, like deep down, they kind of know, like, yeah, it's, it's like not it. Like, yeah, it's not. It's not it. And I think that's yeah, that's the sad part is because I like you said, everybody mm -hmm. has this internal battle. Like we were like everyone from every single family member, your parents, like everyone is battling inside and their soul is like being held captive by these rituals and by this culture and by this b this religion. Right. And yeah, like, you yeah. know. As a kid, I just, I felt like an outcast in my community, in my family, um, in my religion. I'm like, this just is weird. Yeah. yeah, it was like the more you tried to fit in, the harder it was to fit in. Yeah. Because you were always suppressing who you, know, you are, who you are your mm -hmm. personality and your likes and dislikes. Like, especially for women, like, you know, you, you have to dress a certain way. You yeah. have to, if you, like... W Wearing abaya and a jilbab is like the proper dress for mm -hmm. a woman. And growing up, it was like you would wear a skirt and you would wear like one of the short hijabs. And it was like, go cover your hands. Like, what are you doing? I mean, yeah, your like arms, your like, arms. Yeah. And it's like you can't express yourself. Yeah. And I mean, nowadays, like fashion is really big. And yeah, you know. Yeah. There's more options nowadays there, there for are, sure. But, it's but even even all of yeah. that, it's just like it is. Yeah. It's just it's not no. proper dress. No. In islamic term no it's not because you know you you see people on tiktok yeah they, they're they liberalizing the, the, the religion, the religion like the religion if it. you actually truly like go and like learn yeah. about islam and like go like to muslim countries that genuinely practice mm -hmm. it based on how the quran is telling them to practice it's it very different it's very different than, than what like America, western yeah, um, muslims the West, yeah. you know try to make yeah. islam to be and i when think it's not i think what they're doing a lot of the times is they're trying to like liberalize it so that sorry so that it's like more they're trying to make it so like y the younger generation like doesn't leave doesn't leave it's like why follow it if you have to change it to fit into your life yeah like why do you have to change to fit islam into your life why can't you be you and have yeah. god in your life because and be god change you not rituals and yeah you know because i think um muslims tend to like try and alter things like you know even like music let's say mm -hmm. like they're not allowed to like make music yeah so they go and make nasheed i know it's, and like, it's like it's like they're trying to take a back way to like e either do what they yeah. want to do but not offend allah yeah, you know it's exactly. like that's what it constantly right, is but it's then like it's like they do that but it's it never actually is what they intend for it to be yeah. it's always off from what a lot expects expects of them like nasheeds have like music like and the, like, like the like drums, drums and, and guitar stuff. and yeah. stuff like that i mean unless you have like the just yeah, vocals it, but yeah it's just it's like always trying to take mm -hmm. some sort of like roundabout yes. way to like yes. commit your sin without allah without you offending allah right, right. and so it is it's 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 a You're weird always just trying to fit yeah it into your life somehow yeah. you know so growing up mm -hmm. um like how what was your relationship with islam like what did like how did you feel mm -hmm. um yeah how did you feel growing up um i was okay with it for yeah. a while mm -hmm. until i went and sought it out myself yeah like the truth myself yeah um because as a child like i said like you don't really think Mm -hmm. you're like yeah. this is just what we do like this is what i'm gonna do because it's what this my parents want me to, to do yeah um and then you get older and you're just kind of like i don't feel fulfilled like mm -hmm. that's not there's no satisfaction yeah and it's mm -hmm. not about me it's not about like my feelings or anything but it's like your soul yes it's like there's a piece missing mm -hmm. you know and as much as i tried to be this like good muslim and you know like i think i was a pretty good muslim yeah but deep down i did not like yeah, my soul didn't feel like it was right. Yeah. And I don't know if I'm, I'm probably not saying it right. But yeah. I think like the more I tried to seek Allah, the, l the harder it was to find him. Yeah. Like he wasn't there. Yeah. And, you know, it would feel like I'm speaking into a void and I'm, you know, sending up these prayers and I don't hear mm. anything back. It's like radio silence and I'm yeah. just there like, like, where are you when I yeah. need you? And and that's yeah that's yeah for the longest time like i was doing that and i just wasn't 
Yeah, finding. sorry, we're not looking at you guys. We're just like really <laughs> looking at each other. Yeah. It's hard to have a conversation and look at the camera. Yeah. But sorry, continue. Um, So I think I fell into like a really deep depression. Yeah. And so how old were you around this age? So around because, you know, like you mm-hmm. said, even for me, I think it was around the age of 17, 18. Yeah. Where because when you're when you're younger than that, before that age, 17, 18, you just don't ever think you just do whatever your parents say. You live in the house, right. you know, Eid is coming up and you're going to get a new outfit. and You get to like, you know, go to the masjid with your new outfit right. and like, you know, you're getting your ilan done and like all of these things. And so it's just. You and you're fasting and you just you kind of just going with the flow. And then you reach this point where like you're doing all of these rituals. Which are like, does that even make any sense? But does like that even like what is mm-hmm. what is any of these rituals doing? You just know all these rules. Like if right. you don't pray five times a day, if you don't fast, like, yeah. you know, then you're basically going to hell because yeah. you are not doing the things that you need to do to m- please Allah right. and you know and then it's like then you're scared it's like the shaitan's gonna come for you you're gonna g- you know go to hell like I know. It, it's it's like it's just fear-based it's tactics 24 fear, 7 yeah. yeah and it's like you can never escape it because you're living it like constantly you're just like oh if i don't do this god is gonna send me to hell like, like yeah like strike know? me down and like yeah. kill me and yeah <laughs> yeah no so, so yeah around 18 it, 17 18 is like when i was like yeah, i need i need to like i don't understand out. yeah yeah there's a thing i think a lot of things don't make sense growing up mm-hmm. and you're just kind of like um okay, okay why like do we do this right. and no one has an answer right. you're just like okay and then you're told like don't ask that just yeah whatever just just go yeah <laughs> and then you're like okay whatever and then you dismiss it but i think 18 for me as well is when i yeah was so like tell us about 18 like <laughs> what was what happened well, that year I became really religious in the Islamic faith. Like, I was doing, like, all my prayers. Mm. And, you know, before that, I did practice a little bit. But I think 18 is when I was like, okay, I really need to, like, get right with God. And, yeah. you know, um, I was seeking out God and trying to find him in these five daily prayers and, you know, reading the Quran and, like, all of that stuff. And yeah. I just couldn't get it right. No matter how hard I tried, it was always something. Like, yeah. I just couldn't get it. And eventually, you know, I was like... And what do you mean by couldn't get it? Couldn't get, like, you couldn't get God? Or, like, what couldn't like you I get? Like, I couldn't reach God. Like, yeah. I okay. felt like he couldn't hear me. Mm-hmm. And it just felt like I was wasting my time. Yeah. And as much as I wanted to quit, I was like, no, but I don't want to go to hell. Like, I need to be praying and I need to... Even if my heart isn't in it, I need to do it because mm-hmm. I don't want to go to hell. Yeah. And so... You know, eventually it was like, I just kind of, you know, got really depressed about it because of the fear. It was in 2020 mm-hmm. when I came across worship music. Tell us more. I love yes, this. Yes. And that's a huge part of my testimony. So I want to know, I'm curious, yes. how did you stumble upon worship music? Yes. So, I mean, it was the pandemic. There wasn't really much to do. Yeah. Um. And Maverick City Music had come out. Okay. And so I just came across a video. I wasn't seeking it out or anything. I just mm-hmm. kind of came across it. And I was like, oh. On YouTube? Like, or Yeah. Like, okay. I liked music. Like, music was a something that really helped me a lot. Like, yeah. growing up, it just kind of was like my escape, I guess. Mm-hmm. And so I was like, oh, this seems cool. Like, I didn't know they were like. Like a Christian, a Christian like gospel. Gospel yeah. singers. And I didn't know any of that. Mm-hmm. But I was listening to it. And it just like hit my heart. Like. Yeah. You know, it was like, like the words, the words, mm-hmm. because it was like, this is what I've been seeking. Like what they're talking about is what I've been seeking. Mm-hmm. And so, you know, I was still Muslim. I was still praying yeah. and it felt wrong. Like yeah. it was like, oh, my God, why am I listening to like gospel music when I'm a Muslim? Yeah. Like God's going to like literally end me like, yeah, I'm going to die in my sleep That's or yeah. something and I'm going to go to hell. Like, <gasps> you know, oh man, the fear. I know. And so, um, you know, but then eventually I s- just stopped caring. I was like. I mean, Allah, like, if you're real and you're, you know, as forgiving as they say you are. I and know, I know, so merciful. And I know that's not good, but it's like, yeah. you know, it's like, whatever. Like, mm-hmm. we all sin, whatever. Mm-hmm. And so I was listening to gospel music, and um, it wasn't a sin, obviously. No, <laughs> it's not. Listening to gospel music is not a sin. No, it's not but a sin. Islam but it Islam, is Islam a it sin. is. Yeah, um, and Islam, like, breathing like is a sin. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> My um, I keep. No, it is. <laughs> um, but. So, you know, I would listen to worship music as a Muslim, and I really 
<laughs> they didn't care. Like, it's, I'd yeah. be driving around, like, I'd be going to work, and I'd just be singing. I'm like... No, it's just so fascinating you know? and so crazy because I yeah. think... Yeah, because I think, like, you do reach this point like mm-hmm. every Muslim does. Mm-hmm. Like, I had a point where I was like, I'm going to be the best Muslim possible. Yes. I'm going to spread Islam. I'm going to tell everyone I know about Islam. You know, you're praying. Mm-hmm. You're, like, trying to show off your, trying you to know. Be girl. Yes, <laughs> I'm like, oh, I love the hijab. I yes. have this new oh my God, style. It's not forced. I'm like, like it's not forced. I'm like, not I chose this. I'm beautiful. Like, like you know, you're really trying yeah. to convince yourself of it. Like, yeah. I really it's was. It's not even about convincing others. It's about convincing yourself. No, I am. I That's was convincing what I felt myself. Like the yeah, whole time. literally. Like, and you look back and you're just kind of like, that was never me like no it was all because i thought yeah. if i convinced myself yes. hard enough that somehow i will believe yes. my own lie yes. like i was like if i pray five times a day yes. i go to the masjid i was like sleeping at the masjid during taraweeh like Girl. the last 10 yeah. days of ramadan i'm like i'm gonna make iftar like i was really trying my best yeah. you, then yeah. you reach a point where you're like yeah it just is never enough honestly yeah and so you know i think i think Back to, like, the worship music. I think when I would listen to it, yeah. I would, in my mind, think, oh, it's, like, it's not a sin because I'm attributing the word God in the songs to Allah. Like, I you know, and I believe okay. that Allah yep. is, like, mm-hmm. doing that for me. You know, and when they'd yeah. say, like, yeah, cause his promises are true and stuff like that. Like, songs, I mean, yeah, lyrics. You're, co- you're convincing you're like, yourself. you're, like, oh, yeah, mm-hmm. like, you know, even though I'm Muslim, like, they're speaking about God and we believe in the same God, which is not true. Nope. Um, not true at all. But Do your research. Yeah, so I, you know, I'd be driving and I'd just listen to worship music, and it really brought me so much peace, mm-hmm. and I really loved that. Like, it was great up until it wasn't. Tell us yes. more. What happened? Um, I don't know. Like, I became more drawn to like Christian sermons, mm. and I was doing the same thing with the music where I was like, okay, they're talking about God, and you know, these things apply to our God too, or yeah, whatever. Yeah, and yeah, you know, I was trying to convince myself that I wasn't doing anything wrong, and um. I just, the truth was I couldn't find that joy that I found listening to these sermons and this worship music in listening to lectures and the no, Quran, no. you know, and I tried so hard to convince myself that I was getting peace from, you know, memorizing the Quran yeah. and like listening to the recitations and stuff like that. As Muslims, like we don't know, we didn't know, no. like the true meaning behind the things that were being done and no. said and blah, blah, blah. And I guess like you can argue that people like mix religion and their culture but truth of the matter is their culture stemmed from the religion that they believe I agree. in mm-hmm. and it's like i don't know i just it just never sat right with me and i had a hard time accepting that as much as i tried so hard like it was yeah it was and so I difficult th- and i think for me like mm-hmm. even like we were talking about mm-hmm. the last couple of days for me i think it became the hardest part when i was genuinely seeking allah and i was like trying to find like Allah and trying to have mm-hmm. build this relationship with what I thought was God, which is not God. Um, but what I thought was God, but I was researching about Islam. I was trying to learn more and understand more of the meanings and learning more Quran verses. And, and I was like, Oh, I'm going to memorize more stuff and I'm going to learn the Hadith. And the things that I found in that process were really disturbing. And I think a lot of people will be like, Oh, like you left Islam. You didn't even give it a chance. Like, and the thing is like no Muslim person leaves Islam without giving it a chance for a long time. And so Mm -hmm. I gave Islam so many chances, um, four years, and that led me nowhere it literally led me actually it led me somewhere it led Led me me to to the truth of what islam is and i was so shocked like some of the things i learned i didn't even know those things as a muslim and i was shook no definitely and i didn't get to that point until like i after yeah after but Mm -hmm. it was because i was so curious i was you know and they say like don't give in to your doubts or whatever yeah, but it's like yeah. why are they there, there to begin with yeah they're there and for a reason the holy truthfully, spirit truthfully i have not felt that doubt mm-hmm. as a christian no and <laughs> it's like because there's no reason to no like, there's no there's like the god explains everything yes. he wants you to understand he yes. doesn't care if you question yes. him like god almighty like yahweh like he it's like mm-hmm. i'll be like jesus it, like as a muslim i was like jesus if you're really god yes. like show up like yes. sh- prove to me you're god and yes. jesus showed up and he did he definitely did and yeah i think um for the longest time it took me 
so long so to long. even call on Jesus. Oh yeah, because the name of Jesus can't even so like, wrong. I couldn't say it yeah. for the longest time. Like I, you know, I was in that transition phase from like to where I was pretty much leaving Islam, and I was like, okay, so if I'm gonna leave Islam, like where am I going? Yeah. Um, and in my mind, it was like, I want to call on Jesus because I want to see if He's real. If they say He is who He says He is, then yeah. He'll show up and He'll answer me. But I couldn't even get to the point of where I say I would I could say Jesus. Like I would get on my you know like a pillow and I yeah and I'd sit there and I'd just try and pray and it just felt wrong and I just couldn't yeah. But then eventually I think what did it for me was that desire to get to know God and hear his voice because God speaks and God communicates with his people. He, he is does. a living God. Yes. He is the truth, Amen. the way, and Amen. the life. Amen. And he shows up all the time all for the me time. in ways that I can't, can't even, even fathom. Like describe. I, I just cannot. And I just yeah. sit there and I'm just like, okay, like I barely took in what you did over there over and there you're already and doing you're already this here for yeah. me. Like it's crazy. It's just so beautiful. And it's what I've always longed for. And yeah. um, I think, yeah, it just. Yeah. No, you're getting to the good yeah. part, but let's go back <laughs> real quick. So yes. you went from worship music. Yes. And then you started um, listening to worship music. Yes. And then you started listening to sermons. Yes. So then what happened after that? Um, Well, it wasn't consecutive. Okay. Because I dealt with a lot of guilt. Yeah. Yeah. Um, because I, truthfully, I was still a Muslim and I was doing these things that were considered a sin, like mm -hmm. looking into a different religion. Like, yeah, that's pretty much you left Islam I at know, that point I and you're know, an apostate and, yeah. you know, you were never a true Muslim or whatever. But yeah, whatever. <laughs> but um, I they think really come for you. It's like no, you were never a Muslim. You're it's like attacked 24 seven for like no reason. Like, I know. Please. I know. Anyway. It's like, what? <laughs> what? Um, <laughs> yeah. It's like you knew me my whole life. Like, whatever. I know. Um, but um, so. I dealt with a lot of guilt and it was really hard like yeah. to just even do normal things. Like why am I fighting in my mind so hard about listening to music? Yeah. And it's, it's not even like bad music. It's no. like music that glorifies God. By then I hadn't even professed like Jesus is Lord. I was just listening to sermons and like they really resonated with me and I just loved it. Like I, I enjoyed it so much because I was at a place where I was really depressed. Yeah. But that was bringing me joy. Mm -hmm. And it was like, I don't know, like, even through the mess, like, it was, I had joy, yeah. you know, and it was crazy because it just, it didn't make sense. It was, like, this it God doesn't. who, you know, I'm coming from this, this Islam mm -hmm. where it's, like, God pretty much makes you suffer. Yeah. Truthfully, like, don't come for me. Like, it's it's my lived experience. I know, but it is. It's, and like, no, it's you true. are suffering because yeah. you are trying you're to please so many yes, people. You're trying God, to please yeah. your mom and your dad and your family right. and your siblings. And that's the other thing. It's, right. like, we're all, like, it's, like, you're a part of this cult and we're mm -hmm. all supposed to keep each other in this cult. And even if, like, you know, with my siblings, it's, like, we are so close and we tell each other everything. But even if I ever were to say, hey, do you guys ever wonder about who Jesus really is? It's like, why like, would you bring that like, up? Like, they would, like, like come for yeah, me. Like, why like, would you bring that up? Like, why so, do we need to talk? about that yeah part. and it felt like like no like like yeah. we talked about earlier yeah. like nobody like they don't even they're like my siblings but i they don't even know me they mm -hmm. don't know who i am i can't That's be how it felt myself like you know? all the time like nobody truly knew who you were nobody truly because knew anybody nobody, about anything no, like we're I think all like literally actors just, yes we're acting everybody just working yeah to please one yeah another, you know i think that it's um it's hard because you grow up and like your whole entire like life mission is don't piss off the community. Yeah. Like don't get the uncles mad. Don't get aunties. those aunties mad. Forget about the uncles. It's the aunties. Okay, but the the uncles low key are catty. They are low key catty. <laughs> they low key, and they're low key seek crazy. out. Yeah, no. High key. No, but it's like you have a reputation to keep. Yeah. And it's like you're born with this burden on you. It's uh, like, mm -hmm. oh, you're so and so's daughter. Like Yeah. If you ever like step out of line, like you're gonna shame us and Yeah. It's so toxic. And that's the it's other like, thing. It's mm -hmm. so toxic. And even like, you know, going back to the whole family thing, it's like even everybody, your siblings, ev it's this honor and shame. It's mm -hmm. like you don't bring shame to your to our parents. Don't bring yeah. shame to the community. Don't bring shame to, you know, like whatever. And so so that yeah, no, it's it's yeah. it's it's so like you're literally like 
you can't even you're not who you are deep no, down you're not and who god made I you think like i think god made yes, us individually yes. and he made us unique and he made yes. us in his image and, and their he, thing is everybody needs to be the same you need yeah. to be in line it's, it's it's like a dictatorship. It is. It's like if you step out of line, like you're not worthy, like you no. cannot be a part of us or yeah. whatever. And you're like, like cast yeah. out or whatever. Yeah. And it's like, it's like why? Like I know. But I think the main difference between being a Muslim and being a Christian is like being a Christian, you can be who you are and God yeah. loves you for who you are. Yeah. And you don't have to fit in line with who like other christians yeah. like god is not it's like, like everybody's different i know as long as you're in yeah in line with like morals biblical like scripture, biblical yeah. and mm-hmm. like godly you know mm-hmm. characteristics but it's like it's not no. like a tyranny it's not no, like you're not. working to like please, please god. everybody mm-hmm. and, and it's like everybody mm-hmm. yeah so so i think we we're saying i know we're so bad we're like so bad at like, like telling it's, a story it's like two like brain cells like fighting each other i know we're like both add skipping from one thing to another but, but um no you were saying like yeah. you were trying so to mm-hmm. i was being a fake muslim yeah <laughs> but i was happy yeah like i didn't show it mm-hmm. but i was happy yeah. like i think because i didn't want to tick anybody off and mm-hmm. i didn't want you know, I had a lot of fear, of course. Like, yeah. I'm going to admit that I grew oh, up same. and I was scared of what people thought of me. And, same. like, if, you know, I'm so-and-so's daughter, if I ever do anything bad, it's, like, I'm going to be, like, the talk of the town. And yeah. For no reason, by I the know. way. It's like you I mean, you're literally, and, like, oh, there's They a talk about you anyway. It's I know. It's, like, you, can, you can't escape it. So, at this point, why not just go and do whatever I would want. literally be terrified um every time i like walk past a taxi yes wearing pants my dad (laughs) like i was wearing pants i wasn't even wearing skinny jeans no i'm like wearing the like business pants like you know those like and i'm like i'm terrified i'm like dude this This guy probably knows my dad probably knows my dad he's about to call him i know me walking by like i saw your daughter like she was walking this street wearing 411 literally by the way and they're like 40 years old worried about a teenage girl wearing pants i know anyway tragic <laughs> this ain't that <laughs> so tragic but um yeah so yeah no i was i was really like finding peace in god yeah. and eventually it was like i felt even though i hadn't gave my life to the lord i felt convicted like mm-hmm. you're trying to cheat the system yeah like you're trying to reap the blessings of god being in your life mm-hmm. but you're not willing to accept him publicly come on and so i felt so like I just knew, like, God was, like, no, like, you need to, like, be proud of who I made made you you. to be. And you need to, like, show the world, like, what I've done for you, pretty much. Yeah. And so, over time, like, it just got overbearingly, like. Yeah, the conviction um, Yeah, it's, like, it just falls Mm -hmm. on you heavy and you're, like. But also in such a peaceful, loving way. Yeah, no, it's, like. Like, God's not, like, going to punish you No, he's not going to punish you, but he's, like, okay, like. I'm waiting for you I to know, do the like, right thing. Right. Like, I'm you here. know the right thing. Like, I'm here for you. Like, I know. Do it, you know, and I'm like a be loving there father for you. And it's so funny because even if it's so hard, like he rewards us mm-hmm. and he loves us so much to the point where it's like he wants you to do things so he can bless you. And literally. Like, and, it's like and it's like we're so like human like i know it's like you can't even like actually grasp like the, the love of god, of god and the goodness of god and his like faithfulness and, and his, his faithfulness. love for us it's like and that's the crazy thing it's like it's like like god is mm-hmm. a loving father like he yeah. could have picked any title for us to like call, call him, him but he, he picked father father because and that's who he is and, and we are his sons and daughters and, and he's that. given us everything like like everything he's created for us it's our inheritance like and it's like the enemy is just trying to keep us away from the blessings of god and to keep us bondage can i just say yeah us even sitting here right now like the spiritual warfare is real because we you and i know i know mutually like we know we're about to get attacked by the community but it's like it doesn't matter today like we felt so much peace we like were just so like like, so like lord l- let them like literally we woke up this morning and we were worshiping yes, together yes and, and like reading like the bible the peace of god yeah. is just like here you, like you would expect like oh we're muslims we left islam like we know they're gonna attack us like we'd be so nervous and at one point like i was like yeah so, like f- riddled with anxiety but now i'm just kind of like 
I don't care. Like, I'm going to put my story out there. I'm going to put my face out there. Whatever yeah, happens, happens. I know, I know to the glorify Lord, God. I know the Lord yeah. is with me. And but he's not going to leave or forsake me ever. Never. Like, ever. Ever, ever. As much as people want to attack us, it's like, what can they really do? They're just mad. <laughs> like, yeah, and that's the mad. thing. Like, that's the crazy thing. It's like, even for us, like, people yeah. attacking us doesn't even matter no. because the, the war is not flesh and blood. It's, it's like a spiritual yes. warfare. It's like the enemy is fighting for people's souls and people's spirits. Mm -hmm. And people like us even mm -hmm. coming and telling our story and right. having, like like sharing the gospel and the good news but also sharing the glory yeah. of god and the things that god has done in our life it just like i don't know i just i feel like for me personally when i became christian mm -hmm. i couldn't keep my mouth shut oh, no. like as hard as i tried i, I was tried like so okay hard. i was like shamsa like yes like, like you were gonna be the best muslim ever and i'm like okay like holy spirit leave me alone i didn't know what the holy spirit was at the time you i was you mean best christian I was, did I say I was trying to, you no, I was trying to, Muslim. I was trying to be the best Muslim. Oh, I, oh. I was trying to like deny the feelings I had inside oh, okay. and I was trying oh, to be yeah. the best Ignoring Muslim. God yeah. I was much, like, yeah. and I didn't know that that was the Holy mm -hmm. Spirit convicted me. The Holy Spirit is the spirit of God. We can get into that in yes. a different video, yes. but I really was trying to be the best. I was trying to be as Somali as possible. I was trying to be as Muslim as possible. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, and I, I did everything, but I could not, I could, it's like, I would like be around like my siblings and I'm trying to be like the the shamsul that was like I couldn't Muslim, do it. Yeah. I couldn't no. do it. It's cuz once you feel like once you get to know God, yeah, it's and like you, you can't ignore the goodness, him and you can't deny you him. Cannot, you can't go you back. You can't go back. And it's like as much as it would be I like, can't even pretend. Not, not even like I think when I was, you know, like I felt like God is like you need to like go out there and you need to share yeah, what i've done yeah in your life mm -hmm. it was like okay well if he's gonna want me to put myself out there and like you know get attacked by people why would i do that and in in your mind it's like it would be much easier to go and be absolutely the, take the convenient route and just go back to your absolutely. family and fake it but, but I, could, I couldn't even thinking about it tormented me i was like no you can't i you can't literally go can't. back to that it's so it's hard so hard and it's not even like oh no, i can't go back yeah. to a bad situation whatever no. it's like no like my Just soul mentally and like, like yeah my soul couldn't yeah. like handle it because right. you once you like once you know the truth it's like yeah it's like but not even the, mm. the truth it's like say you like tasted the best like cookie or like cake in your life you're like this is the best cake in your life it was like like manna fell from the sky okay you had like like bread that like literally came from heaven and mm -hmm. you ate that bread and and then someone else tries to give you like what is like some disgusting bread i don't know like angelo that oh, wasn't wait. like <laughs> like no listen i have a good okay. one angelo that wasn't like properly fermented like uh, yeah it's like yeah. like they didn't do it right like right. you know what i mean they like yeah. put too much yeast in it and it mm -hmm. it over fermented mm -hmm. and it was sour and disgusting mm -hmm. and you're like i just literally had bread from heaven right and now you're trying to give me this sour angelo right. like i don't know right. sourdough i don't yeah. know yeah that's not a good explanation, but it just doesn't go like you're no. like, I can't eat that when I've had this. Exactly. And so that's exactly. what I feel. And I feel like and that's the same thing you feel. No, it's like we can't. No, definitely. I think I battled for a while. Yeah. Um, I tried to fight God. I was like, Lord, I can't do it. Like, I know. they're going to attack me. Like, I know we're so scared. We were people. so. Yeah. I mean, I'm God's working on me. <laughs> yeah. No, you're doing so good. Like, I'm like. It's crazy. It's, it's hard. But you're it's so brave. We didn't even finish your story. No, I know. You're so brave. Like, she's over here like, I'm so scared. And I'm like, girl, you are spirit filled. I'm like, I she, try. no, you really are. Like, some of the things yeah. that you've, the, some of the no, stories that yeah. we've talked about is insane. You yeah. are really strong. And, well, and that's the crazy thing. Mm -hmm. Like, God gives us, like, strength. strength like, Out supernatural of nowhere, it's like you strength never and think. peace. And, like, you just wouldn't know. And I think that leads us into part two. My the second part yes. get back to the testimony yes. we're add hope you like it <laughs> if you're still here love you subscribe subscribe I like comment okay like comment <laughs> right so um yeah so i just kind of felt like god was like okay like like what are you doing like yeah. you can't be one foot in one foot out no. like mm -hmm. you can't reap the benefits of you know me yeah ha be being in your life and deny me pretty much yeah. in front of the people because he does say if if you deny me in front of yeah he says if you deny me before man i'll deny you before yes, my heavenly father yes. yeah and you know that i was really convicted of that because that's what uh, that's what i was doing i was trying to you know please my parents and 
pretty much lie to them. Yeah. I'm not going to lie. Like, growing up, you kind of you have lie. to lie to pe- your parents so they don't freak out over the littlest thing. Mm-hmm. Like, Literally. Let alone you leaving the religion. But it's like, I don't know. I just kind of had to yeah. do what I had to, to do, do. Mm-hmm. so I can live my life pretty much. Um, and so I eventually was like, okay, God, like, if you get me out of my parents' house. Yeah. I will do what you want me to do. Mm-hmm. Like, if you make a way out, then I have no choice but to, to follow you. Know, you. Yes, yeah. follow you and, and glorify yeah. you, you know? And so um, I kind of just, by faith, like, sought out opportunities outside mm-hmm. of where I was living. Yeah. And it led me all the way to Europe. Wild, crazy. Like, by like for what? Like, it's faith. like Europe, huh? Like I know. I know. But so I went to Europe. And this is where my testimony really begins because it's, it's crazy. It's just, it's, it's crazy. crazy. Yeah. Um, so I land in Europe and I get detained <laughs> for like nine Wild. hours. Little so old me. I know. Just I'm telling you, brave. Like, mm-hmm, like, oh, I'm here. Like, <laughs> you're just so all cute. Of a sudden, I love it. All of a sudden it's like, um, ma'am, like. Do you have a visa? <laughs> like, uh, they're like, what are you, you imagine, doing here? Can you imagine just like leaving America and you're like, I'm here, you know, like, <laughs> I just like, felt I don't so know what you're dumb. doing. Like, you know, I got there and they're like, okay, do you have a visa? What are you doing here? And I'm just like, oh yeah, I'm just here visiting. <laughs> OMG. I just can't. You're key, so funny. Yeah. No, I was like, I just need to leave. Yeah. Like I, Lord, I can't praise yeah. and worship you here. No, you were I like, cannot, anywhere. Yeah. like follow you here. Yeah. And it just felt so suffocating because mm-hmm. I loved God so much. And so much. I was like, it can't work here. No. And God knew that. God and knew he that. was mm-hmm. inspiring me to go and seek out these things. So, yeah. you know, because it's like, I think before I left, I was sort of like, oh, but how do I know? Like, this is what you want me to do. Like, what mm-hmm. if I'm making the wrong decision? What, what if I go all the way over there and it's like nothing happens or whatever? Yeah. And, you know, I was riddled with fear again. Yeah. Um, but. As we you all know, are. I mm-hmm. know. And then I realized, like, whatever choice you make, God is with you. Always. If he is truly in your heart and mm-hmm. his spirit is within you, mm-hmm. he is Amen. always Preach with you. Sister. He yeah. never leaves or never. forsakes you. And that never. was, like, my go-to, like, verse. Because he's just so faithful. And, and you're, and like, literally a living testament know, of that. Because I he know. literally didn't, like, he it's didn't crazy. When she was telling me the yes. story, I was like, wait, girl, hold up. You he just what? up and got and left. I you're know. like, you're just like, I just love Jesus <laughs> so much. I'm just going to go and follow him. And you just left. I know. And I'm just I know. like, I think about it. And I'm just like, who were you? Like so much like, faith. Do we know and her? I love like, that so much that yeah. you were literally like, you were like, you gave it all to I him. I really did. Like you were like here. I, yes. You laid down your I life. Like, you're like, here, it, here I, I like, am. Lord, it's you or nothing at yeah, this point. You're like, here I am. Yes. And so, you know. My dreams got shattered. No, oh my God. <laughs> I got there and they're like, um, so follow us. No, in their British accent, come here. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> That's so not good. That's not a good accent. It was like, let me try. My UK followers let me, let are going to come for us. I know. Let me, rel- <laughs> let me relive. Let me channel the trauma. Oh my <laughs> it was like, so what are you doing? <laughs> I can't even do it. <laughs> I, can't. I, I, I can't do accents. I'm going to sound Indian if I try. <laughs> oh, my God. No, no, it was like, so how long are you staying here? And I was like. And it's crazy. And okay, like, it's crazy because it was literally in the middle of a pandemic. I, I know. And, and I just up and left like it was going to be all fine and dandy. Like, I like, know. Literally, the world that? is like who coming to that? an end. And Mariam's like, I just, I'm just going to go to go Europe find Jesus with no money. Like, I know. Crazy. No, but like, um, so they just were like, okay, because. I don't know. I kind of did a bit of research, but I yeah. didn't really do my due diligence. Like mm-hmm. I, I just kind of went there and was like hoping for the best, like prayers <laughs> up. Like that's not <laughs> how the world works, guys, by the way, in case you didn't know. No, it doesn't. I mean, I think there's a, an importance to planning, yeah. but I also think that yeah. like honestly, truly, if you're willing to sacrifice everything yeah. for yeah. God, like oh, God, he'll show up. He'll show up. He'll show up. He and, never and leaves so his children. Never. So after they detain me. They just kind of were like, okay, you you got to go back to where you came from. Like, you can't just be here, yeah. you know? And it wasn't like I said, like, oh, I'm just visiting, you know? Yeah. I just really didn't have an answer for them because I was kind of like, I was there for an opportunity to, you know, yeah, help some people and work with and some work, people. Yeah. And not work, like, no, that's illegal. 
Yeah. <laughs> Not work, work, but you know. But you know, yeah. Yeah. So, um, like so volunteer your time, basically. Whatever, yeah. whatever you want to call it. Yeah. yeah. It was something. It, it was, was, and yeah. I thought it was okay, but it wasn't. Yeah. Um. So, they just kind of were like, okay, you kind of have to go back, and I was like, Lord, I cannot go back. Yeah. Can you imagine? Oh, I'm packing I can't. six months worth of stuff and you show back up to your parents door and they're just kind of like what are you doing here you yeah. left yesterday you literally left <laughs> yesterday been, why oh are you my here God, i was like lord that is so embarrassing like don't embarrass me like that i, I can't, know but you're I like can't i just can't that. anything take so, me anywhere else i know and it was like such an emotional roller coaster for me where i just was like lord like i have nothing but you like yeah. at this point like i chose you like don't Embar- not embarrass me but like God yeah it. but like but don't forsake yeah, me yeah like don't leave me yeah like, because a part like, of you is also like yeah. if you're real like like i you're like i'm not crazy so like no, don't make like, me I feel crazy like you didn't just like you know you're like i just didn't go right. like you know what i, I don't I know how to nothing. describe it no, for I, nothing yeah, exactly. so you're like okay like i like literally I did left for you I for you so I, like yes, help me i would like go on like prayer walks and just kind of listen to worship music and i'd pray and i'd just be like lord like I did this for you. Like, I sacrificed so much for you, Lord. Like, I can't go back to what I came from. Like, I left for for you. you. And not that we, not that I had to. Like, I could have found a way to, you know, make it work. Maybe you could have. The Lord knows. The Lord knows. But eventually it was like all things worked out. And, you know, Romans 8 to 8 is all things work out for those who, love the lord yeah or something, something like, like that, that. <laughs> something like something that something like that i have but, my um, bible here but we'll yeah, check no. later yeah all yeah. things work together for good basically yeah so you know that was one of like my staple verses i was just kind of and they did work out for oh, good because it really you found another opportunity back home in america in america and so you know he provided everything that i needed for me even things that i didn't think i needed he was he like, had it here. ready for you and yeah and it's crazy because everything just kind of came together because I think I had one idea in my mind and I was like, okay, Lord, this is, this is what I'm doing for you. And the Lord knew that and honored that and mm-hmm. was like, okay, you might've went about it the wrong way. So here's, here's the right thing. And this and is he where redirects I need you to be. Us. He redirects, redirects us. us. Even mm-hmm. if he doesn't want you to be somewhere, he finds a way to get you where you need to be. Where he wants so you to be too. Where yeah. he wants you to be. And so eventually I came back to America and I'm not doing the story much justice. It was very emotional. Like I know. I, I know. It was a lot. I'm not going to lie. Um, but just the conclusion of it all was like the Lord worked everything for, for our, my good. For your good. And yeah. I was just so thankful. Like I was like, Lord, thank you. I like, know. You know, not many people know this happened. <laughs> like I know. No, but it's that's it's crazy. Like, yeah. No, and. I don't know, like, for a little while, I was, like, a little embarrassed about it. But I was, like, no, like, the Lord used it to glorify him. And, yeah. you know, he showed up in my life in a way that I would have never imagined. No, and absolutely not. And it's almost like every yeah. little thing that God does yes. for us, it makes him that much more real. Yes. Like, he's, like, literally, yes. like, standing next to us, walking us through the steps. Like, we are yeah. little children. Right, like, right. Like, babies. Like and he's always speaking to always. us. Always. Like and it's, like, anything you want, ask the Lord, and he will answer you in one way or another. It's, he you really know, will. I, I think when I first came to Christ, I expected like oh an audible voice of god or yeah you know but no like the lord confirms things that he says to you like it, it, it's hard to understand as I someone know, who doesn't know much about god but and i think for me as well it was pretty hard to understand at first before yeah, i it realized was hard and for i was always too. like asking questions and yeah. like that kind of doesn't make sense but you get it eventually. You and do get like it eventually. Um, God's voice is like the still voice inside of us. Mm-hmm. But our soul knows yes. his voice and I because think he made us. Yes. And I think you know? even as a Muslim, God was speaking to me. Yeah. And I just didn't and know. And protecting he, And he was protecting me. And I didn't know that, obviously. No. It was just kind of like, oh, like random thoughts or whatever. And it's like, you know, like, yeah. I don't know if it makes sense. But as I look back, I'm just like, oh, the Lord was always with me. Yeah. Like, even as a little girl, like, mm-hmm. he was there for me. If you're in a state of depression, if you're in a state or like a season of life where you're uncertain, you're uncertain and you're not content and you're always wandering and your mind is everywhere all the Mm -hmm. time, like and you're genuinely seeking God, ask God to show up in your life and to come into your heart and he will. Yeah, call on the call name of Jesus. Call on the name of Jesus. And like, as a Muslim, it's hard. I know. I lived it. Same. And I literally, girl, same. It took me months. Four years. Months. 
to actually ye- say Jesus. The Lord was patient with me for four years. Yes. For four years, I rejected him. I know. And it's so sad. Like, so I literally sad. Cried. I think about that. I cried thinking about that. I'm like, Lord, like, you've been so good to me. And so I literally good. was, like, rejecting you all the time. All the time. And, he and just you're still there. And you're still I like, I love you. And he still loves us just the same. Just the same. And I'm like, wow. And it's like, crazy because it's like we're talking like we know God, but, like, we low-key do. No. Like, he, we he's really my bestie. Like, like honestly. And I'm not even. I'm not even trying to be dramatic, but I know that there are people. And even because when I was a Muslim, I had a heart for God. Mm -hmm. Like I truly loved God with all my heart and I wanted to have a relationship with God and I wanted God to love me. And I was trying to please the wrong God. Like there are there are multiple like there are things out there. You guys, the spirit world is real and there are things out there. And, yeah, call on the name of Jesus and just watch what happens to you. Like One last thing. I know as a young girl, especially as a Somali Muslim girl, yeah, one of my biggest fears was what will my parents think? What will the community think? How will I be perceived? Mm-hmm. Like, everybody's going to talk about me. Mm-hmm. Like, oh, my God. Like, And I'm, I'm not saying everybody is like that, but as kids, when you're around such a community where everything is so centered on yeah, you shame and that. guilt mm-hmm. and, you know, you think about it so much. And if you're still here watching this video, the Lord is trying to reach you. Yeah. And something in your heart is saying you're connecting with. What with we us, are saying yeah, in our story and our testimony, and it's resonating with you. And if you leave this video and you just go back to what you were doing, and you know, you mm-hmm. out of fear stay in bondage, I don't know what to say to you. Like, I'm not gonna sit here and say that wasn't me, that was me, that was me too. And it caused me more harm than Thank anything I agree. because I was constantly in a mental battle. Oh, and honestly, that it's so miserable like i think so miserable we all deserve happiness and and freedom and freedom and there's only freedom in the lord jesus like i'm telling you right now like as much as you are so like oh my god like i love my culture and everything deep down there is a longing in each of us and i truly believe that and if you are truly seeking the lord you you can find him and he will meet you where you are just be genuine in the way you seek him and he will find you and i don't know i i'm gonna say shams was here for you yeah <laughs> i'm gonna dip y'all not gonna see me again Ugh. maybe if the lord don't dip on <laughs> us i'm here money i gonna be here too well, she's you're stuck with me for life bestie i'm kind of low-key i know y'all she <laughs> is low-key but she's high-key stuck with me for life no, oh yeah for, for lifers right here if you guys are like mm-hmm. you seriously you have sisters like you we're do. your sisters and if, if you want to talk like Reach out to Shum, so she'll reach out to me. I have so many people in the DMs. I don't know know if I can respond. Well, (laughs) I mean, we can't guarantee a response, but just know that. But just know, leave a comment. Leave a comment. People in the comments are like, let's support each other. I can't support all y'all. I got three kids to feed. I got a husband to entertain. She's busy. (laughs) I can't feed. I can't do all of that. But I literally like in the comments, people like hype each other up. Like God is so real. Like if you need prayer literally leave yes, a comment below and people. and people will will yeah. pray for you like yeah. like the community is growing and people are just so like they're like yes. we're like they're we're there for real. one another like we're, i know we're real we like you see us like we I see know. you like we're real and that's we thing. exist you're not alone if you are ever doubting islam like there's a reason why like you're not just doing it for no reason no. like if it sat right in your heart in your soul in your spirit like you wouldn't doubt it you'd be like oh my god this is like lovely like i love it i know like so much joy like no but i I didn't get that with islam i got that with jesus and it wasn't until i came to jesus that i genuinely felt joy i know and 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 that's not to say it's gonna be an easy road no it's not we had to sacrifice so much and did there's still so much that we didn't even yeah we go through a lot yeah but we have the lord and that's enough for us and even in the midst of the chaos we there's have peace joy and, and there's peace. peace and that's the thing oh, you guys like the peace is just so it's like it's so it's tangible weird. and yeah. it's right there it's like it's like why do i feel so calm like yeah but like it's like the, i'm the happy enemy calm. wants you to be so like distraught Stra- and like anxious but and the bible says that the enemy yes. 
he comes to kill, d- uh, steal, kill, and destroy. destroy. Right. And that's his job is to cr- uh, create chaos and to turn people against each yeah. other and to like make our lives miserable. And like we wouldn't like literally go out of our way to do this if we didn't like have something to say yes. to share. And we're like, not just doing this. <sighs> I can already imagine the comments. I'm I'm just like I know people are gonna be like, oh, they just want attention, like. They're Some people are, but it's okay because there's a veil over think. people's yes. eyes and the, and, and the veil has to be removed. And that's no. okay. Like, it's okay for people to think what you're doing is crazy. Like, yeah. it, it's okay. Like, and that's the other thing. It's like, I feel like we care so much about what people say. And even for us, like, sometimes it is hard. But yeah. at the same time, it's like, what's bigger than that is what you get in Jesus. Yes. And anyways. And he will bless you mm-hmm. for your sacrifices and you will like you your you hardships. just uh, like your abu- yeah. it's going to be abundance 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 yes. and we want that for you guys like we want that for you guys so bad because we know what 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 life was like before and what life is like now yeah. and like we will choose this light life. and dark light and dark I'll like jesus every time every single every time single every time. single time so if you're watching mm-hmm. this and you're muslim or you have gone through hard things and you don't believe in god i really truly pray with like every single like fiber in my body that you submit yourself and you ask Jesus to be your Lord and Savior and to just say help me and reveal yourself like God is not gonna get mad at you because you said show me if you're real like he wants you to do that so he could show you like look where that got us Loki I was like nah like I'm gonna say this prayer but nothing's gonna happen like I'm still gonna be Muslim like whatever no and then I left the slaw I know but that's the crazy (laughs) thing it's like it's like this it's like Nothing can even describe yeah. what took it, what it was that took us to no, leave. Honestly, it's just it like, was like I think for the longest time I was like, why would I ever do that? Yeah, like you know, because in our Muslim mind, it's mm-hmm. like you're giving up so much. Yeah, and s- you're gonna suffer so much for it, but it's actually the so much like it's the opposite it's literally in your head remember what it's, i told you i'm like it's in, in your head it's like it's like it's literally they've like brainwashed us to like fear everything but yeah. it's like like i don't know like i used to fear it so much and be like oh my god like it's gonna be miserable for me like why would i, I just do that w- yeah but then yeah. i did it and now i'm like why you would know? i why did i wait so long i know to why do did it? i wait so long like <laughs> i know you know and the thing is we were talking about it like whatever happens was gonna happen anyway yeah oh you know? yeah absolutely. whatever happens it's like whatever happened happen anyway yeah it's like so it's why fear why like fear? just do mm-hmm. what you know is right and with that yeah we're, we just want to pray for you guys yes who are still here um yeah we just want to pray for all mm-hmm. of the people who are still watching for this uh still watching this video so yes. let's pray uh thank you jesus for bringing us together um and thank you for all the things you have done in our life and just for this divine connection that you brought um, and money I'm into my life and thank you for just um, giving us this platform to use to spread the gospel and the good news and Jesus we just pray if there's anybody um, who's watching this video today and they have doubts about you and they they are looking for a sign will you Lord Jesus please just give them a sign give them the sign that they need reveal yourself to them remove any burdens and any barriers um, that is keeping them away from you Lord and we just ask that you just remove the burdens of culture and religion um, and just open up their mind and give them give them the holy spirit so that they may understand and 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 give them the wisdom and discernment they need to understand who you are um and we just pray that they find peace and joy in you and we just love you guys all so much and we just pray a hedge of protection over every single person watching this video and we pray in jesus's name amen 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 thank you guys so much for watching this video i am going to try my best to make it to edit it and not make it like six hours long I know. but i appreciate you guys for being here and um i will see you guys in my next video bye, bye.